What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I have a knife here that needs no introduction. This is the Civivi Mini Praxis and this is going to be like an overview slash review. Um, I've had this for a while now. I've been using it mostly in my like uh, EDC pouches and everything like that. Um, I've been storing it in there. I've been, I've been carrying it some, not as much as other knives obviously, but um because I've been using this in like a pouches, I'll use it also in my EDC bag and everything like that, just because it's so small and it's compact to me, you can just, you can put it anywhere and use it. Um, I do love that this thing is D2 steel. Like I, yeah, it says right there for you. I am a real big fan of D2. Um, it's kind of what I used to buy like a while back and everything. I just got real big into it. It's a good budget blade, good steel for budget uh, budget prices and stuff like that. And I really, when I first found out that this came out, like I, I just wanted it so bad because it was just such a small knife and I could put it just in like pouches. And honestly, I, I wanted more than one. I probably will eventually get a couple more just to put in all my pouches because it's a great just it's a great uh, pocket knife just for pouches. Just to put in there, store them, keep them. And you always have a small pocket knife in your pouch with you. Like for all my pouches, I have a few. I have like a camping one I'm, gonna, I'm uh, building right now for like camping stuff, obviously. Um, I also have this an everyday carry one, everyday carry pouch. And then I'm making another one. I haven't quite figured it out yet what I want to do with it. But I'd love to get one of these in every one of those. Just because it's a great flip knife. Uh, um, yeah, flipping knife. I love the color of it too. Like the OD green. For some reason, I'm not a fan of OD Green and any other knife so far that I've actually looked up. But for some reason, for the Praxis and the Civiti pra Mini Praxis, like it, it just works. It just goes really well for me. It looks good. And it's just a sharp knife, I think, overall. One thing I did find that I didn't like is for the for the price, it's 30 bucks. That's the one reason why I kind of want to buy this over something else like the QSP Ping one. Like I think they're $39. And I'd rather have this for my pouches instead of the QSP Penguin just because, like, that's 10 bucks right there I could put towards something else with a knife just as good. Um, like I said, I love the color of the, uh, the, the handle, the G10. I love the choil it has on it. So, you, obviously, if you have a bigger hand, like, obviously, I have, I have small hands, so I can obviously get my hand all in there, like my pinky right there, without it falling off. But a but guy with a bigger hand or a woman with bigger hands, they can get that up there and they can get your that finger on the toil and everything like that and not worry about you like slipping or um, just your hand being too uh, too big for it. It's a perfect size like I said. Um, I'm going to kind of measure the blade real quick for you guys. The cutting edge is about oops, about two and I don't know like two and nine eighths. I think it's what it says so it's pretty close. Like overall, I guess not the cutting edge, just the blade length overall is two and nine eighths. Just about the cutting edge is about two and a half, like right around there. So two point five. It's pretty close to that. But um, I guess the overall length of the knife is about six and six point seven five. So it's pretty close. It's, it's like I said, it's a good knife. It's not too long. You can just if you if you don't want a knife that's too big, you want something small that you can just throw in your pocket, not feel it. This is the perfect knife for you. Like I said, it's got good steel in my opinion. I like the D2, I've always have. Um, let's check the weight out real quick for you guys. And also like this is a knife, I also wanna get one for my wife and put, just so she can have it and carry it. Carry it in her purse or something like that. I kinda of do wanna make her a pouch too cause she has some stuff that she carries around. And I think that would be a perfect knife for her. Let's see how much it weighs. 2.7 so that, that's pretty good like that's good weight right there um i kind of want to kind of want to show you side by side with the penguin real quick if you want to see the length and the difference in that so it's pretty close like i mean like it's just a hairball shorter it's a tear like a little bit tad bit shorter here is the brs evolve or Evolve Apache or Apache Evolve. Um, I was actually looking at these two together. The Apache is um, smaller when it's opened up, but when you close it, the Praxis is actually 
I mean, like it's, I would go as far as saying as the Apache is a hairball smaller, which obviously they're different type of knives kind of, I guess, in my opinion. Um, you have the fat blade on this, this guy right here, the big old belly, which I like that. I think it's a cool little knife, but, um, that's 70 bucks so for a D2, which is kind of expensive, I think, but it's a pretty good little knife. I like it. But um, there's a, this is a size comparison. Let's get some. I want to get some weights actually too for this, so you guys have an idea what you're looking at weight wise. So again, this was 2.7. This one right here is actually a hairball, a uh, lighter. This one's gonna be heavier, I know. Yeah, see, 3.5. So obviously, that might go spend 70 bucks, put it into an EDC pouch, and you know, I'm not gonna buy two or three of those. But I do like the QSP Penguin. It is one of my favorite knives. But for the pouches, this wins right here. It's just better price, same steel. Love the like I said, I love the way it looks, the color wise. And you can't go wrong with it. I'll get some paper. Just sharp. I haven't had any problems with it. See, it just. It, well, now I'm getting ugly with it. I jinxed myself. See, but yeah, like, like I said, it cuts great. It's small, compact for you. It's perfect for anybody, especially even with small hands. You're not gonna go wrong with the CVV Mini Praxis. But uh, if you guys have a different opinion, you know, obviously I love to hear from you guys in the comment section. Um, you let me guys, uh, you guys let me know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, Again, love that OD green. Like it, this looks good. It also, I didn't say it is a liner lock, which I have found some liner locks I don't necessarily care for just because of the stimping, the jimping right there, or texture, whatever it's, whatever you would call it, I guess. I need to find that out, but I kind of call it jimping a little bit. Um, jimping or texture is what I call it, but it, I, the jimping on that, I do, that's one thing I do not like. I like a little bit more jimping so I can choke up a little bit when I need to. But um, I noticed that the uh, the regular size Praxis and the Mini, they both have the same amount of jimping on it, kind of. And I don't like that. I like a little more jimping. Other than that, though, it's a great knife. I did know <laughs> it doesn't have a lanyard hole, but I think if I can, yep, see that one little right there in the middle, that one little kind of backspacer. I think that's something you can wrap, like a lanyard, something like that, up in there and have it like right there. I think that's what that's for. I'm not sure, obviously, but that's what I would think I would. If I needed, wanted to use it for that, that's what I would use it for. But if you guys have another opinion on it, like I said, you guys let me know what your little budget blade is that you would carry in your pouches or you'd buy multiple of just to have bundles of them, I guess, for whatever you need it for. Just let me know in the comment section. If you guys like the video, just give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe.